All right, I'm just gonna go over a couple things that I've done to the Max and the X Max. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the Max first. These are great cars. It's all stock underneath. I'm looking into a new servo now. But the biggest upgrades I've done to it is, of course, the Wide Max kit. The steel axles. And the hubs. <clears throat> but other than that, this is a stout little car. And I did upgrade the steering arms, stabilizer arms. Upgraded those. When I do the servo, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do it all in aluminum. Like I did with the X-Max, as you'll see in a minute. This is a fun little car. I beat the far out of it all the time. A lot of guys go in, they replace the hubs on the outer corners. I'm not going to replace my hubs. Just for the fact that... When you land different ways, you hit the ground, flip, twist, turn, jump, whatever. If it breaks, when it's plastic, it's a lot easier to deal with because the aluminum is stiff. It just, it breaks everything else. I've put this car through a lot of abuse, and it's done great. And the only thing I've done is just the three little simple things to have fun with it. <clears throat> Well, that's the Max. Fun little car to have. Alright. Now, the X Max is a little bit different. I've had to do a, quite a bit on it. Ugh. A lot of people are not talking about it, and I'm going to talk about it. These pins right here, well, maybe to focus, there we go, right there, they're always popping out. I got tired of it. The arms broke all the time, so I went with RPM arms, uppers and lowers, and also inside and outside, up and lower. I replaced it with the pins that have the screw on the ends. Let's see if I can get. Maybe I can do it on this one. Let's see. Let me spin it around. As you can see, I've got pins with the nuts on the ends, upper and lower, front and back. can't find the pins for the big hinge pin on the bottom <clears throat> but I'll find it get rid of those that way I have I'm guaranteed I'm not gonna lose pins I got tired of losing pins nobody talks about that another upgrade upgraded my servo it's got the high torque higher it's the best one out there that Traxxas of course made and then also all my steering get over here my whole steering mechanism is all aluminum now I run the factory plastic We've got a lot of tire flop Back and forth, left, right, a lot of give, a lot of movement. Well, I tell you now, with all that aluminum up there, it made a big difference. <clears throat> Had to get new fans, broke the fans. That's a new set. Got an extra set just in case, in which I'm fixing to go with a game changer fan. That way I can bash and have fun. And then the other upgrade, which ain't much. Got the nice set of wheels. 
which made a big difference. Expensive, but they're worth it. You can always take them apart and put a new tire on if you need to. No more glued tires. That's one thing I hate is a glued tire. I wish they more made more three-piece rims. As you can see, I got a drive shaft. My drive shaft's warped. But we're getting there with it. A lot of guys do the same thing. The hubs themselves. They put the aluminum on the outside. I just went and bought the RPM. I don't know if I can get a good picture or not. But I bought the RPM over well oversized hub and bearing i don't know if you can see that down there but that made a big difference on the rear big difference i kept popping bearings all the time every time i'd run i'd bring it back with a factory bearing and little cover was always hanging off don't matter how many bearings you change them bearings are cheap so i went with the rpms and i love it there we go you can see there but a lot, of, a lot of guys replace this with aluminum sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not in this situation myself I don't think it's good because you're going to snap your arms up here I had my factory arms on there and every time I do anything they'd break so I went back with the RPM plastics so I didn't have to worry about it and it does a lot better. So that's just a few upgrades on a couple of the cars. I've got more coming. Just wanted to show the Max and the X-Max. Two fun cars to play with. Even though the X-Max give me a big problem in the beginning with them hinge pins. Them hinge pins will pop out. Never had so many problems out of a pin like that. But with the way it's done, that screw and the flex and everything, it just, it don't work. <clears throat> so if you've got a Max or a X Max, get those pins from RPM. You will be a lot happier. That's two of my cars I've upgraded. A little bit, not a lot. Just enough to make them tougher than what they were from the factory. And it works. They both work great. So, video's coming soon, guys. I'm working on it. <clears throat>